And as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way through Thunderhead Isle and with it the Dragonhead Island to find whatever this thing is supposed to be. It is guiding us to our next objective in Guidance from Ages Past. We need to follow that light. I'm pretty sure the voice speaking to us was Mineru, the final fifth sage, but I guess we'll find out soon enough once we pick this thing up. Whoa, so if we pick it up, it'll just sort of guide us. Is there a better way to do that? Could I combine it with like my shield? Uh, no, okay. So I guess I'll just have to hold it on our way down. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to toss it off. What happens if we lose it? Was it still just guiding us way down there? I'm guessing we need it for it all to work. Ooh, here we go, we get one of these over here. Let's go ahead and deal with this in real fast. Uh, I will get five of these, just like that. Plop those in. Well, it looks like we can make some kind of pretty effective flying machine over there. So we'll get a bunch of stuff. Anything new? Doesn't seem like it, but I'll just take what I can get. So, ooh, let's get the crafting. What do I wanna do here? Definitely get one of those. We could get a rocket here. Interesting. Uh, maybe I'll do the rocket and then also a couple of these fans so that we have like some long-term propulsion. So, yeah, let's try maybe a fan here and a fan on the other side, just the same way. This is a very interesting scenario, but we'll get this one, same deal, right about here. I think that's good enough. Uh, maybe it's not like perfectly angled, but that's okay. With this, I definitely just wanna get this, you know, we should probably attach it to the front, so it makes it a little bit more obvious on where exactly we're trying to go. Just like that, pretty useful. And then we need the rockets. We got two of them, so I'll probably just attach both of them so that we can go flying pretty fast. I will get that, not there, but here. And here. And I think, yep, we got it just like that. Good enough, right? Here's hoping, it might be a little lopsided, but overall I think we'll be able to get through with this. So I probably wanna line this up on this pathway, actually. And I might want to save before we go after this, because I might just crash and lose this thing and that'd be a pain, so maybe that'll be better. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh man, <laughs> it's burning through my battery super duper fast, so I might have to uh, let it glide us for a bit, but it's pointing us down to where we need to go. And I could also consume some more charges, but it still steers, so I think we're fine. Or this is way down there, which, have we been down there? We have not, it'll be near Tobio's Hollow. Gotcha, so we could probably yeah, dip down a little bit more like this. We're definitely getting there, so. Send Yonobo out there. I'm making a direct beeline towards it right now. I might wanna like turn a little bit. There we go, just so that I can maybe come at it at a better angle. So I don't wanna land right on top of it, right? I'd, I'd rather land right before it. Oh yeah, you can see something down there. What is that? Big statue. Okay, we're about to make a landing. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, we hit the tree. But honestly, that wasn't so bad. So I will just pick up this and keep moving. Okay, wait, pick it up, pick it up. Oh no, uh, come on. There we go, we got it. Do we just place that there? I'd imagine we do. Oh, that did something. Whoa. I don't know what's happening now. Whoa! Something's opening up. <laughs> We're just standing there. <laughs> I don't think Link knows what to do either. Is this a whole new temple? Ooh. 
So we still have more of a light to follow. Guidance from Ages Past updated. The Relic's Light guided you to a hidden path that led underground. From there, the Relic started emitting the beam again, leading you down the path. So I guess we'll just keep following it then. Right down this way. I have a feeling I probably just need to bring this thing with me. Discovery. Tobio's Hollow Chasm. Who's Tobio? Is this like a sword? It looks like the hilt to a sword, right? Maybe? Nope, maybe not. Uh. Oh, it went on top. Okay, so it just holds this thing. I just gotta do something, right? Oh, we're going down. Oh no, now I'm sort of scared. What's gonna be down here? Whoa. This is no normal elevator. It sort of moves wherever. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. Well, I'll work on that. That must be Mineru. The fifth sage. Where are we going? Hopefully closer to Mineru, I'd imagine. Whoa, so we're definitely in the depths. I see some gloom. I see a couple of the light root seeds. This is spooky. And what is that? I have so many questions. This light is still guiding us though. Guidance from Ages Past updated again. When you place the relic on a pedestal in the underground chamber, a path opened into the depths. The mysterious voice spoke again, saying, you must hurry, we must meet as soon as possible. When you arrived in a vast space within the depths, the relic began to emit another beam to guide you towards the ruins. So I wanna see, we're definitely in a part of the depths we've never been in before. Let's actually activate this light route before we get too carried away. Uh, just because I don't know what depths we're in. The Moakwege Light Root. And the Farron Grassland Depths. Okay, that's good to know. So this is probably our first way to enter this one. This would be a bit weird if we could enter this some other way and like discover all this sooner, right? Okay, well, there is that. I'm sure there's plenty more to find, but that will sort of clear up the map a little bit. Also just make it easier to look around here. Whoa. It clears a, a decent little chunk. Okay, now we can get to exploring a bit more. It would clear away my gloom hearts if I had any, but it looks like there's maybe a little entrance over there too. I wonder what that's about. Ooh, and there's some enemies already waiting for us around here as well. There's a lot going on. Let's stay busy with this before I get carried away with the actual depth stuff. We'll explore the depths a little bit for just like the main land of Hyrule. Construct factory. Whoa. You would think that they were made up in the sky. What is this thing? It looks like it slots right in there, doesn't it? Oh. Okay. So if I put this here, there it goes, it fits in. So is this a construct? Yeah, look, you got the wings and maybe like a tail or something. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. My name is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form, we cannot yet speak face to face. 
But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? Oh, I spotted that one before. So I guess there are. I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. Well, then I'll happily help you out. So it was Minoru, not Mineru, and they're the Sage of Spirit, not the Sage of Light. Okay, guidance from ages past has been updated. Within the vast ruins was a pedestal with a hollow carved out in the shape of a person. When you placed the relic where the head would go, the voice spoke again, calling herself Minoru, the Sage of Spirit. She asked you to visit the four depots, or depots? I don't know, <laughs> depots, for the parts to build a body that could house her spirit, allowing you to truly meet her. That's great, so yeah, I wanna track that one. And there was four of them around, so we might have some enemies to fight along the way, but they are lit up, so it might make it a little bit easier to sort of get to them. Oh, that was the first one. Okay, so what is that up there? I don't know, that might be something different, because the ones that we're trying to get to are all lit up by green. Little lights, got you. So obviously this is where we're gonna make the absolute most of some bright bloom seeds, if I can find some. We should have some somewhere. Actually, let's just do this by most use, and that'll make it much easier. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, that helps out a ton. There is a construct over there. I'll leave it for now. Doesn't seem like I need to mess with it. Oh, little pebble here. Uh, do I wanna pick you up? Was this a good idea? Throw you. Boom. I got a little zone eight out of it. I'll take it. We'll throw another big bright bloom seed. We're getting a little bit closer to what we need to get to, so. This is so cool. I didn't really expect us to go back to the depths so soon. Here we are. Okay, that thing might be farther than I anticipated. What is down there? Uh, That goes much farther than I expected. Whoa, okay, so might seem crazy, but I think the best way to get up there would be to go down and then ascend up. Let's give it a try. So way down this way, there's not much to do besides Use ascension. That's not ascension. Use ascension. There we go. All right, and back up. This might take us a moment. We might we might be swimming through here for a while. That's fine with me though. As long as we get to where we're going. It really is taking a moment. <laughs> but it was that whole thing we were swimming up, so it makes sense. Come on, we got to be there. Don't accidentally hit the back button on this one, because that would just take me so much time. We're still swimming. This is insane. This right, it feels like we're swimming to the surface. Uh. Well, that's not what I wanted. Good to know we can do that, though. Huh. I thought I'd saw a top of the platform. I guess not. Okay, I'm back over here. I just teleported to the light route because I couldn't find an easy way up. I'm so confused on how we actually get over there. But yeah, I thought going up that would lead, it looks like there's like a little gap there, but I guess not. Um, that was a pretty easy soldier to defeat. So I need to find a way over there. Maybe getting to this light route would be the easier path for now. This might be a little bit more involved than I anticipated. It might just be that inside isn't really too much and that just getting to them is more of the challenge. Or it might be both of them, who knows? Maybe it's really hard to get to, and there's a lot going on inside of them, but you can see now we're sort of equal to height to it, but we need more than just that. I will try to throw around some more bright bloom seeds. Because I think at this point, you know, we're, we're close enough to this light route that we should definitely grab that. I hear the noise of a monster. You know, there's probably a keese running around. I think that's what I heard. Big ones really are useful though. We're almost there. I'm just gonna ascend through this part so that we can get there. It should be fine. All right, so our second light route of today. And then I think we can get over to that one thing. Um, the we should codge light through it. The these are just so hard to pronounce, which maybe that's intentional, who knows. 
because now we know that some of these areas are sort of sectioned off from each other here in the depths. They're not all one giant accessible area that we can flow in between. But sometimes that's for the better. That means I can sort of go through and just try to figure some stuff out one little bit at a time. Okay, with that done. Of course, we'll have a little bit more of the map cleared out. Ooh, that one cleared out so much more. The light would dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. By, by a very large degree. For sure. So maybe that'll help me find what I'm after here. Because where I wasn't, yeah, this is the wrong way. Was I just over there? Yes. Because I climbed up that. I'm trying to get to this thing? Yeah, I can sort of see it beyond there. Definitely difficult to get around here, but I'll get over it this way. I will shoot at you. Ooh, these guys are tough, actually. Usually they get knocked out in one hit, but... Oh, actually, they did get knocked out in one hit. They just have friends that they were carrying that I did not see. So I should just be able to... Ooh, ooh, gotcha. And I would like to pick up whatever they drop, but it might hurt a little bit. Oh, please don't hit me with that stuff. I see you over here. Ready, and don't you dare. There we go, we get a bunch of uh, lightning food. Awesome, glad to have all of that. Well, let's continue with what we were doing, which is getting on this platform and over here, right? I'll get a little, these little guys again. We, we fought the big one, the, the big frocks. That was crazy. Am I still headed the right direction now? Yes, right over there. Okay, so to be honest with you, this one, this one seems to be one of the farthest out of the way. So if we could get this one down, done now, it would be quite nice. So yeah, I will just go over here. This is the right leg depot. West and included depths. I guess it must be depot. Uh, <laughs> let's switch to maybe a different weapon. I'll use the black ball spoke of axe. And that should help us get up here. Up we go. And I don't, I mean, there is some, what is this? I probably should try to activate this. Will this do anything? I'm really con confused. Whoa, okay, yeah, definitely should have done this first. Is that the artifact we're looking for? Oh, the door closed. But that door opened. It definitely looks like there's something inside of there, so. I guess for now. Will this be strong enough to bring us both up? I don't think so, yeah, it's, it's gotta be one at a time. Which sort of stinks, I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run out of battery and let them both fall. And then I will maybe even consume a couple of extra charges. Just like this. Uh, is that not giving me a boost? Oh, it gives me like a, oh, okay. I didn't realize how that works. It's like a limited time boost. I don't know if that's actually all that worth it. <laughs> that was sort of kind of a waste. Luckily, I still have a good chunk of those, but I don't know. Um, pick this one up and I guess attach it to this. Seems like a good idea. And then with that, yeah, I got all this extra battery. Can I get some of these? Let's get this here. And hopefully that's enough. Uh, maybe it's not? Yeah, it won't quite work that way, will it? I'm so confused. Um. Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out because it doesn't quite connect there because of the, the things, as you can see. The, these little parts here. I'm just trying to at least get it a little bit farther. That might be a better idea. And if I can maybe attach it here. Yeah, so it's hanging like this. Maybe that's a better idea. I don't know if that would help me get through or not, but we're gonna find out. Okay, this has quickly become a mess, but it is pushing it along. 
So that's nice. And of course, it, whoa, it sort of got stuck, but then it found its way through. Okay, will that happen again? Oh, look at it go. Okay, one more time, one more time. Wow, look at us being problem solvers. And then it should just fly off there. Nice, all right. Was not expecting enough to go as well as it did. What do we have in here? Bomb flower? Another bomb flower. I'll take those. And then we'll head up this way. So, now that we're in this section, I wanna grab this and just keep it moving. Looks like, yeah, I need to use more of it to get me up here. So I guess for now, I'll just, I don't have enough battery for it. So I just have to sit around waiting for my battery to come back. That's not so fun. Okay, I'm heading up here. I think we'll get there in time. Ooh, just barely. Got it, okay, so we got all the elevation we needed out of that one. And it looks like there's more to do around here. So getting these to where they're supposed to be has become quite involved. Now I'm sort of curious as to what's going on with this stuff. So I don't have the battery just yet. This is why I definitely need a battery upgrade. Uh, okay, it's ready. Bring me up if you don't mind. Doesn't bring me up very much. Okay, well I guess I don't really need that. I can just climb up the wall myself. We have a couple of these gliders, as well as a steering thing. So I will attach that. Not like that. Not quite. Uh, right there, got it. Is there anything more I can do around here? Doesn't seem like it, so I'm gonna bring this over. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here, which I will happily grab. But first, I'm plopping this off right there, opening this up. And we get three Zonite, cool. And then, oh no, that's falling in the water. I don't think it's gonna get like whisked away or anything, yeah, so we're fine. So we will, I guess, set this up on this railing over here in just a moment. Place it right there for now. Get this attached on the back of it or something. I don't really know where to place it. I mean, it's quite heavy, it seems. And then maybe just these two things. I hope that that's enough. Will that be able to appropriately spin or turn or whatever? I don't know. We're gonna try it. <laughs> okay. Got it. And getting this one, same deal, right about there. Actually, let me yeah, make extra sure this is attached to the actual plane part and not the, the cube, or the square. Okay, so I need to just get this on here like this. And as soon as it does that, it's gonna start falling, right? Maybe not. This is not working. Oh, wait, 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 it's working, it's working. Ooh, it was working for like two seconds. Why was it working? Now it's not working. Um, oh, maybe I need to, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Okay, I'm buttoning it up here just for a second. I'm putting it like that. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. I might have to put this cube somewhere else because a rectangle, it's not quite a cube. If I were to do this, I don't know if the steering's actually gonna work, but uh, we're gonna try that right here. Let me get on real fast and then start steering, start moving. Here we go, it's working, it's working. This is great. Well, I wonder what's up there. Oh, we got a couple of things. I'll have to go check that out later. Okay. I just wanna get this to where it's supposed to be, which seems to be about here. We're going in for a crash landing, oh no! The construct factory, we're back, we're back. I might land on this guy. Uh, or not, okay. They're coming over to investigate. Uh, gotcha, okay, that's all we needed to do there. That's fantastic. So this is the first one that we got from the depot. So I guess we'll just get it over there. The thing is, it's like it's in this cube. It's not a cube, it's a rectangle, but uh, this prism, I suppose. How do we get it out? What is, 
Yo, what does this do? Now that I'm looking at this. Oh, ah, that scared me. Uh, okay. Right here? Right there. All right, well, there's the first of four. That's one. Bring the other three here as well, Link. I'm on it. So before we do that, let's maybe get to the upper parts of this, if we can find any way to do that. Because it looked like there was a lot more of the, the Poe, if not anything else. Oh, hey. Ooh, one shot takedown's always nice. They're not super strong opponents, but. So there's a smaller Poe here, but the ones with a bit of a green flame, they usually give us more. So I'll grab this one here, that's five of them. Oh, and then there's these ones with the red flame. I don't know if we've even gotten those before. Uh, no, we haven't. This is a grand Poe, a glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for rewards. They seem to possess vast power. So yeah, they offer 20. And we pick them up. Pretty nice. So we'll keep looking for more of those. I saw one at the very top. So I'll go there soon enough. Guess I can uh, get a zone I charge there. And five more here. Cool, because we're at 133 of them. I know that we can go back to the one by uh, Lookout Landing, and that one will give us like gear and stuff. We, we found some cool things from that, but I'd hope to get more soon. And this might be a good starting spot for us getting to uh, some of these other body parts, I suppose. Ooh, there's a treasure chest in here. Oh, hey! Welcome to the Construct Factory. I cannot remember how long it has been since I welcomed, welcomed any visitors. Construct Factory? Yes, parts delivered here from the depots are assembled into crafter constructs. The finished products produced here are shipped to Dragonhead Island. My task here is to confirm receipt of the parts shipped from the depots. I then oversee the task to ensure they are correctly assembled. Currently, all work processes have been suspended. As, ha uh, as have my duties. The issue seems to be that no parts are being sent from the depots. I am on standby here to take receipt of them in the event that shipping resumes. Well, I got one to come over and you can see here the other pieces sort of illustrated. So interesting. Um, Let me open this treasure chest. I got a Captain 4 Reaper with 65 damage. Oh my goodness, that's a worthwhile pickup. I'm gonna drop the sturdy thick stick because I don't really need that. The attack up plus 10 is pretty crazy. Ooh, and look at this. We got some extras over here, so that's 20 more. And another 20. Really nice rewards. So, here's a good spot to really chart out where we're trying to get to next. Because there's one over there. But I think there should be one off in this direction somewhere. Yeah, right down that way. So that one's super easy to get to, comparatively to what we just went through. So we'll just glide right over. There's like a little group of Bokoblins over there that we might fight later, who knows. Right now I don't need to worry about, this is the left leg depot, there in Grassland's depths. So I'm guessing sort of more of the same, we'll have to activate the thing. Right over here. And then we will send that flying upwards if we need to. Uh, all right. Here we go again. So that's gonna close the door behind us so we can't just waltz out with it. But it opens up that door. So it doesn't seem like this one would be too complicated to get out there. Maybe we did the most difficult one first. That'd make me very happy. It just means that we, we dealt with the most difficult thing and we could just have some easy times, but sending all this stuff flying, whoa. Not bad, not bad. So I have this here. Looks like there's a couple more rockets there. What's the deal with this? Is there anything down that way? No. Okay, so if I push this, it'll change the angle. Ah, I see. There's also a little steering thing there. Do I really need that though? Let me push this a little bit higher up. I think about there would be good. Oh, here we go. Let's get a couple more of these for sure. Just whenever I get the opportunity to, I try to stock up on these. Got five more. Put them right there. And we should 
It's more rewards, more goodies. So, ooh, nice. Nothing crazy new except for this construct head, a Zonai device that always faces whatever teams an enemy. Attach a combat Zonai device to the head for homing attacks. That's crazy, actually. First time seeing that one. See, I think all I need to do here, put that there, and then put these two rockets on it, and then we'll attach the steering de device on it, only so that we have like a sturdy place to hold on to while it gets launched through this window. I think that's our idea. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, back up, tilt it a little, place it there. Let's get the steering device. Place that over this way. I guess I don't even really need to. You can see there's a place where I can ascend over there. But you know what? <laughs> Let's just try this out. And go! Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No! I was so close. You know what I could do though? Is I could reverse it. And then I gotta be quick with this, but it should come up this way, right? Got it, okay. Well, we found a way to do it regardless. Wasn't well, exactly the way I wanted to, but it works. So what do we do with it from here? It looks like I was supposed to go this way. Yeah, you can see it in the distance. So what's up with the rest of this? Um, Good question. Looks like I could launch myself there, but why would I do that when I can just ascend? This is easier. And there's not any higher up stuff, right? I mean, there's some things in there. Okay, let me grab a bomb flower and see what the deal is with this. Uh, let me see a treasure chest in there. Could I just do this? Hold it for a second, drop it, and Reverse, I don't know what's attached to it. It looks like a bunch of uh, little Zonite things. Okay, or uh, Zonite. Yep, it is. Okay, interesting. And I'll open up this treasure chest, or Link's poor little foot, uh, and get a large Zonite. Okay, not really what I was expecting, but we'll do that. And then I guess I just go back through this way. <laughs> I think there might've been a better way to solve that, I guess, but. Maybe not better, but more intended way? Who knows? Anyways, I think at this point, if I wanted to continue with my little trend here, I could just rock it off with some of these other rockets. I guess I could get one of the minecart things on here, but it's a little too late for that. Where is it? Right over here, isn't it? It's still up there, okay. So let's try to grab this if I can. I'm not quite close enough. Get up here, pick this up, put it down over this way, and then we'll get some rockets on it. So I see two of them, or just one over here. One should be enough, I really think. We were just to attach it like this, like this, turn it around, place it right there. And then if we turn this whole thing around, we'll get to where we're going pretty quick. Ready, and here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, one rocket was plenty. Oh, that was actually really cool, because we end up right exactly where we need to be. So at this point, I'm just going to break this open, put it here, and hope that it shatters. There it goes. So this is the second leg. I think goes like this. Yeah, should go in there. Just like that. Two legs down, two arms to go. Looking pretty good. And that's another part. Two left. All right, well, that one was definitely much easier than the first one. I see another entry there and then another entry there. So let's go for that one next. Looks like I just have to walk over for now, but it looks like I can maybe climb some branches and stuff and we'll be at the entrance before we know it. So this feels like in, its, in a way, its own like depths. Oh no. More trees. Are these a different kind of tree? Nope, it's still just an Evermean. I'm 
just going to ignore them then. Just walk away. If it's a conflict I can walk away from, I, I will gladly do that. And I guess, yeah, just into here. Whoa. Left Arm Depot, Farron Grasslands Depths. Okay, so what's the deal with this one? That's a wheel. Okay, so let's activate this. This will get us our first arm. Right there, ooh, these are much bigger, aren't they? And of course, the door is gonna close. Ooh, there's some water. Huh, can't get over there from here though. So what's the deal with that? If we hit this, it's like a chain pulley system. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. We haven't really seen that concept before. Whoa, okay, hold on. Lots of lava. Um, what if I just did that? Would that be enough to get across? Guess we're gonna find out. Um, I don't think so, but maybe. Come on, tool in, I'm just trying to get tool in to activate, but it didn't really do it in time. Maybe if I jumped off to the side, I could sort of, let's try that again. Um, push that as far over here as we can. Just keep, leave it here for a second and then bring it all the way back over. Get on top of it and reverse that. And then what I'll do is I'll jump, glide, land right here, perfect. Um, cancel the reverse so that we can bring it over. What was with that thing over there? I'm just now noticing there was like a whole thing over that way. Uh, I don't know what that was or how we can get back over. So <laughs> we're gonna leave it for now. What do we do here? Um, is there anything up this way? I'm not quite sure. It looks like there's a treasure chest. Gladly take that. And we get five more steering sticks. That's nice. I don't know quite what I'm supposed to do with this wheel. This is another very odd situation. Should I just do what I just did again? Uh, this time would be a little bit more cramped is the issue. Ah, oh, it's not gonna fit in there. Okay, Um, if I were to go like this, push it all the way down and then go for forward a little bit and then bring it all the way back over. Leave it here. Get on top of it. And reverse it. Like maybe this would be enough? I'm certainly not doing this in like the most practical way, but it's working. So should I really cause that much of a fuss, you know? I don't think so. So what's the deal with this? I think we need some of those tires to do what happened before. What is up with this? I'm going to try to just do this so that sort of stops, at least to some degree. Here, um, just going to push this over here and stop this. Cause I don't know what that does. Stopping it didn't seem to have any effect for me. So I'll just ascend up through here and see what else is going on. Uh. Ooh, we got some more Poe. Happy to have that. And that's the treasure chest we just got before. Not seeing much else though. Full reward, but I guess, actually, I might need to use that to get across and try to get the tire over it or something, because I don't see, no, no, ooh, that was painful. Not what I wanted. I guess I was definitely supposed to get some kind of other cargo over. I feel like I couldn't have known that, that was the thing. 
Because it's not just one of those things where it's like... Yeah, I don't quite know how this whole tire thing works. But... This spinning didn't seem like it was doing anything. Is the thing that I'm really confused about. What if I just had it on the other side then? Yeah, just like this. And then maybe I can hit it? I mean, now it's not quite where it needs to be. It would have to be like here. And what is that doing now that it's spinning this way? Anything? Perceivably, no. So I'm just, I'm really, really confused. So I don't know if this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. Once again, I'm quite confused on like what I'm supposed to do, but I mean, I guess I could have, you know, spawned some of these in too, but if I could just turn around, turn around. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, yeah, bring them back, bring them back. <laughs> there we go, I got the both of them. And then there's that third one over here. And I'm just basically doing what I did with the other thing to get these over. I guess I could spawn some in with the pods if this doesn't work, but I really want this to work because I don't want to have to use the pods. I'm just very confused is all. Uh, so I'll push those all the way over. Sure. And then all the way back. Now they're sort of falling. Um, What if I reverse all that? Try to stand on. Ooh. One of these, please don't knock me off. And then from here, I just, oh no, not do that. Why did he not jump? Who knows, it's a mystery. So I don't know entirely how these work. So like if I just activate this, would that be enough? No. So I wish there was a better angle I could actually cross-reference cross those. I should have, I guess, paid better attention, but I was sort of in a rush to get these over here. So. It was sort of like this. I might have to turn them around. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work this way. So let's try turning it around. Cause I think it needed to sort of like climb up. I think it's currently attached to the, the wall, which would definitely not do me any favors. Here, take this up. No, come on, that is actually so silly. It's sort of in the way, so it's really difficult to make this work the way I want it to. So I just wanna pick this up and put it maybe like this. And then get this whole thing here, activate it like this, still doesn't really get up. So how did that work? Okay, well this time it just let me pick it up. <laughs> okay, okay. It was not letting me pick it up before. I'm pretty sure I tried. Whatever, that worked. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother worrying about that. Uh because we can just put this in the water and it's gonna start going, I think. Maybe if we push it off a little bit more. Uh, the silliest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, um, actually I won't start moving because that's not really the current. I don't know, I guess this was just supposed to show the player that there's a fan here because it didn't do anything to interact with anything. It was just so weird. Um, I'll attach it there, but then I gotta get on quick, don't I? Uh, here, turn it off. Get this extended outwards a little bit. But don't let it go just yet because I want to get the steering thing on. This was one of the weirdest puzzles just in the game so far. I was perplexed that entire time. Get that right there. Um, and swim up here. Come on, there we go. We're, we're slowly moving. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, we can't really turn very well on this, but it's good enough. Whoa, we got ourselves a boss Pokemon one over there. Pretty intense. We almost have this where I need it to be. I think from just here, I will hopefully just be able to go grab it. Awesome. Put it down for a second so I can grab that bomb flower. But we'll just march this over as soon as I can. Might be the more simple way to do it than, you know riding it down the river a bit more, but I just want to get it to where it's supposed to be. So we're back here at the Construct Factory. And we put it down, it should break. There it goes. So what's going on with this next one? Put it right about there. And that's the first arm done. Just one more piece left to go.
One more left, Link. The body for my spirit is nearly complete. Very exciting. So, we can sort of see it off in the distance. It might be a little bit more difficult to get to, especially with enemies like that waiting for us around. We'll do what we can now. Uh, I just don't really see a specific way to get over there. This one doesn't have a light route. That'll make it a little bit more easy to sort of understand where exactly I'm going. But I guess for right now, there's a lot of enemies. Are those all silver? I don't know. For a second, I thought it was a silver boss with a bunch of silver Pokemon. I was like, that is incredibly really difficult. But uh, we'll save that for later. All right, we're out here. A lot of this is just totally covered in gloom. To the point where it might be easier to climb up this mountainside over here, or just ascend the, up through here. This is by far the easiest option, so let's do this instead. Uh, I'm going up. Here we go. So this is the last one we need to do, so I'm trying to be prepared for it to potentially be the most difficult puzzle. Right arm deep out. Whoa, that looks like a conveyor belt. Sort of, or like an escalator or something. So here it is, our final uh, appendage that we need for Minoru. And of course, the door closes here, but opens up way over there. Let's see how this one goes. Um, so first things first is that I'm just going to grab that. My guess get it onto here? Does that do anything? It does. What's down here, though? Whoa. Uh, it seems like a whole system is electrocuted stuff over there. I guess this might be where it falls if we do make a mistake. What's down this way, then? Maybe a chest? Ooh, there is a chest. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab this. And we get more large zonite. Nothing too crazy, but with all that done, I'm heading back up here. Just trying to get a good idea of everything around here, because that block should have been yep, brought right up here. What's the deal with this? Very electrocuted block. It looks like I need to... I don't know if I'm right about this, but... No, not do that. The angling for this would be a little bit difficult, but it would be something along... No, oh, come on, no! Uh, do something along the lines of this. Here. Yeah, stay a little bit farther away. And then... I think just on the other side, get these tires. Do an angle a little bit like that. Ooh, actually. Yeah, like this. Right here. And it's moving. Okay, yeah, it's moving straight over. Excellent. That was that puzzle solved? There might be more, there might be more. I mean, this is the exit right here, but. I don't see too much more to do after that, so I think we're on our way out. That's crazy. Uh, so I will disconnect it from there and just sort of see what's going on on this side. It looks like there's a lot more tires connected to. And we just ride it straight over. So yeah, this one really wasn't that bad. Is this like a, yeah, I can sort of ride it off like it's a big ramp, so that's cool. I will try to make some kind of vehicle though with all of these pieces, just to get it over there a little bit more easily. Because if not, I'll have to walk it through the gloom, and that'd be a big disaster. So I just need to attach all these in the corners. And one more over here. A little bit closer, and right there. So I did see a steering wheel over the side. Ooh, there's also some rocks to break, but it doesn't look like it has anything too crazy, so maybe I shouldn't worry about breaking it too much. Boom, just some zonite, which we have over 300 of. And we can get another charge from there. So I wanna pick this up and just put this on there and then we'll connect the block to it and then we're gonna go. Took us long enough, but 
This is one of the easier ones for sure. So I can't complain too much. Attaching that there, and we are moving. All right, let's hope we can make it over there easily. It looks like there might be some trouble waiting for us, so if I could just be like, hey guys, boom, going bowling. They're not gonna be happy about that, but I don't think they'll chase me too far, right? Uh, if they're like, what was that? I drove right by them. That's perfect. So we're here at the construct factory with our final piece. Oh man, that was amazing. Get that here, put it down, wait for it to break. And we've done it. Right about here, right? Uh, we gotta rotate it a little bit more. Come on, there it is! We did it, we've completed Minoru's robot. It's huge, sort of spooky. Is that a broom? Uh, is it a cleaning robot? Whoa, it's moving. We did it. So Minoru's spirit is going to be put inside this? Whoa. Our new giant robot friend. Thank you, Link. Now only one task remains. We must recover my secret stone. And where is that? Way down there. It should be located here. Please, Link, let us go there together. Okay. That might take some the time. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Ooh. Whoa! Now hurry, Link. We must recover my secret stone. Whoa! Do I get the righted? No way. <laughs> now I'm so excited. Minero, Minero's, Minero's, Minero's construct abilities. Link can ride on Minero's construct. Whoa! Guidance from ages past. When you place the parts collected from the four D pots in the pedestal, they connected and came to life as a large construct. Minero's voice then asked you to bring her to the secret stone of spirit using the power of the construct. From Minero's voice, you will learn the location of the secret stone. That is so cool. So I guess we'll be able to ride this thing and really see what it can do in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.